<laughs> Can we combust with electromagnetic waves? We're going to be lighting a match using a plasma ball. Yeah, that's Welcome to Destructive Creativity. I'm Jonathan. I'm Eliana. We exist for you, for science, and for fun. If any of those things appeal to you, make sure you click the like button and subscribe. Yeah. Technically, we don't exist for you, but the channel does. Existentialism sucks. <laughs> this is a continuation of our series on plasma balls. I started this one a couple of weeks back and it's just so cool and I didn't get to cover some of the cool things you can do with plasma balls. So this time around we are actually going to try and light something on fire using plasma. First off, it's good to have you back. We've been in quarantine for a long time so we can actually get this channel back to where it's supposed to be, which is right here. So first question, why are these two plasma globes different colors? Well, both of them have different types of inert gas inside of them. One of them, I think this one is xenon, and this one over here is argon. We already covered what a plasma ball is and the science behind it. Essentially, those little sticks in the center are Tesla coils. They emit high energy, high voltage radio waves, and there's an electromagnetic field that exists around here that ionizes the gas inside of these globes, which creates plasma. When you touch the globe, it creates a lower resistance path for the energy to be neutralized. Essentially, the energy is attracted to your finger and through your body and into the ground. That's why you see that specific stream of plasma. Plasma creates heat. But when you touch it, it's not a whole lot of heat because we're only creating a pathway for a small amount of the electromagnetic field. So the question is, how do we light something on fire using plasma? Well, more plasma equals more heat. We're going to increase the surface area of the electromagnetic field and create a larger current. First up, a quarter. A quarter is conductive, and if we place it on the top of one of these plasma globes, we have another coin, which is, this one's a nickel, so it is conductive again, and when we just touch it, you can see there is that tiniest little spark. That is plasma that is existing in our natural atmosphere. It's not sustained and it's not as big as like, or as visible in the plasma globes because the outside of the globe is one atmosphere and a much lower percentage of gas. So in order to ionize the gas, which is what plasma is, it needs a lot more energy. Cool. So how are we going to increase the surface area so that we can attract more of those high energy electromagnetic waves to create more plasma, to create more heat, to burn something? We'll be using tin foil. Yes. And now comes the mandatory part of the show where I tell you don't do this at home because you're lighting things on fire. Don't be a dumb. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So we've put some tape on a sheet of tin foil that we folded a couple times. And this is basically just creating a larger surface area to capture those electrons. And yeah. Then when we complete the circuit to allow it to go to the ground, it should create a significant amount more plasma and more heat. Should I touch it? <laughs> sure. Ah, what's the worst that can happen, right? <laughs> Ow. 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 Okay, so it does work. Ow. Oh. Okay, step two, matches. So if I touch this match to that tinfoil, what do you think will happen? Probably nothing. <laughs> because guess what? This is non-conductive. There's no way for this match to complete the circuit so nothing happens. So what we do need to do is get some tinfoil. If I were to take this tinfoil and I'm touching the tinfoil so those electrons really want to go through my body into the ground. So when I touch it, there is a significantly larger spark. And that spark is plasma. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That is cool. Wow. So currently this, this spark of plasma is about eighth of an inch, do you yeah. think? 
The next step is wrapping the match in tin foil, leaving a little bit of the head exposed. That way, when we touch it to our plasma ball, the electrons will go right past the match head and hit the tin foil. Hopefully, creating enough heat that the match will ignite. Let's try. There we go. Cool. Thanks for watching. Next week we have <laughs> next week they have another video coming out on a few more tricks that you can do using plasma balls. Truly, you don't want to miss it. These things are amazing science toys. See you next time.